Hi you guys, it's LaToya. Welcome to my crafty space and welcome to day one of my holiday card series where I'm going to be making one card a day for 25 days to finish out my Christmas stash and just get out all of this Christmas energy that I have. So I decided to play with my Heartfelt Creation stamp sets and I know I was recording my new sets and showing you guys those not these so i decided to get inky with them like hey they're right here they're new just just use them i absolutely love 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 the home on the farm like ugh, the the sets are just they're just so cute happy meadows barnyard accents they're adorable all right enough gabbing so to go with this set i was thinking of course because i just can't get it out of my head christmas and let me cover my ink pad because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting something in it. So what I'm going to do is make a little quick, quote unquote, <laughs> Christmas card. Hmm. Make quick Christmas card. I went through all of the Heartfelt Creation stamp sets that I do have. And unfortunately, I don't, I don't have any sets that will allow me to make a wreath. So literally that's what I've been struggling with. Um, like the last hour I was looking through all of my other stamp sets and I'm like, okay, what am I going to use? And this here is, oh, what company is this? Let's see. Oh, paper, paper tree ink. So normally Paper Tree Ink comes in a box like this, so super cute, but when you buy their items on sale, they just come in these little bags and you also, you know, get the dyes and such, but they're super cheap because they're about to be discontinued and they save money by not giving you proper, proper packaging. So with this door set, I completely forgot, I literally went through all of my stamps and luckily with this set, I found a wreath that is going to work as close as possible, <laughs> as close to perfect as possible with um, my barn here. So super excited about that. So here's a little wreath. I just need to color it up. I'm about to stamp my barn and we're gonna stamp the whole thing. Even though I don't, I don't think I need the whole thing, but we're gonna do that anyways. Let's see. Just place that here. Here is my completed barn, one of them. I absolutely love it. I decided to leave the white trim and the brackets on the doors I colored with some gray Copics. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put together a card. Um, I decided I'm going to color this other barn while I'm at work today. So, <laughs> you know, on my break, of course. So I just want to really just, you know, create something and have something completed instead of just, oh, color, 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 color. Alrighty, so I just cut out this die. I'm sorry, not die. I just cut out this stamp for the barn that I colored because I wanted a little wreath. And how adorable is that? But oh my goodness trying to cut this out. I, I ran it through my skin and cut, but then I had to cut out the center just because I wanted the detail to show up on the barn. Um, I did want to have the barn doors just be covered, you know, with that white background. So sometimes when I run things through my um, Gemini Junior, because my plates are so old, I need to get, do I have a set? Of, I think I do have a set of new plates somewhere, but whatever. Um, sometimes I leave everything on but now I'm just learning that some of these lines here on my plates actually press into um, some of the other images and things so we're just not going to do that and I'm actually going to cut this dog out also so oh this looks like so much fun how fun makes me want to go on vacation I can use a vacation right about now. 
Okay, that looks nice. And again, my purple tape, no clue where that is. Um, usually I don't have to tape things down when I'm using my magnetic plate and I don't think this is any exception. And I have like 10 minutes before I have to go to work. So I'm just gonna leave this like so, come on. Trying to get these to line up. Okay, I think that's good. It's always um interesting trying to line up your die because you're like, oh, I want it to be perfect. It's like, what is perfect? And this dog, he's really easy to stamp, so I'm not super concerned about messing him up. There we go. The bottom was just too low. I'm like, where are his ears? Okay, so now place this on top. And he moved. Okay, so yeah, with these, you do need to use some tape. We are going to be on the side of safety because who wants to color these images just to have them sway and move all over the place. This should only take a second. Come on. All right. So like I said, the barn's fine. Just gonna place that down. Okay. You are moving. We are not having that. Oh, so I took out all of my cookies, hot cocoa stamps <laughs> in preparation for being a little crazy because I ordered a new set and I'm like, okay, let's gather what we do have and see, see what we have. Okay, perfect. Let's run this through. And here is my setup, in case you were wondering. How perfect, right? I have this origami. Um, I bought this off HSN. It's like an origami organizer. And I absolutely love it. So I just have all of my goodies stacked on it. All right, now that we ran that through. Let's see. I'm going to save that tape. <clears throat> Painter's tape is good if you press really lightly with it, but you have to be careful because it can rip some of your images and things. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cute. Oh, wait a second. This was actually the lighter dog. I didn't even think about that. This dog I stamped once. These dogs I stamped twice, so I'm actually going to run... <clears throat> that one through but look at this barn oh it looks phenomenal it looks so perfect this barn is just so adorable I had so much fun Copic coloring it and I used my dye to cut it out and it is just so beautiful so now I decided to take some snow stamps that I have and I found this little icicle stamp and I am going to try to make this barn look just snowy and gorgeous. And I actually think that I am, I need to find some of the other stamp sets that I do have because I think this needs a tree. I think a tree would look really nice with this. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I did recently get a few more stamps by Heartful Creations because they had a 15, was it 15? I think it was it was a 15 or a 20% off of some of their wintery, wintery collections, the Christmas ones, and I just couldn't resist, especially since I don't have a lot of winter stamps. I'm like, okay, I need this because honestly, this barn is screaming to be turned into a wonderful winter scene and just totally decked out. Okay, so I'm probably going to use, oh, so many ideas. I'm looking at these and I just have so many ideas. This, I got this off eBay actually, but um, let's see. I think, 
Do any of these trees have snow on them? Okay, so none of the trees have snow. Oh yeah, I have the wreath for that barn that I colored. I almost forgot. Where's the wreath? This is how er this is how organized I am. Everything should be in here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we have the wreath that I fussy cut. Oh my goodness, how cute! How cute! I'm so excited. I'm like way too excited. I need to copa color these before I cut them out and add them to this barn. Now, one of the stamp sets I did get actually does have a little wreath that I can use for the barn because that was one of my issues. I didn't have any stamp sets that would go with it, but this has arrived. So now, yay, so excited. I actually have a stamp that's um, artistic style matches this barn perfectly. So I'm stoked, but the wreath that's currently on it fits the bill. We'll leave that. And um, so none of these trees have snow on them, but that's okay because I'll make it look like they have snow on them. Now, the next thing is, do I want, which trees do I want to use because of sizing? Mm, these are nice. Now, would this look nice with the snow that I have down is the question. Just have like a row of trees here. So, right now, what I'm looking at is the, the aspect ratio, I guess like how big this barn is compared to these trees. These could be baby trees, and so they could look fine next to this barn, or if I want like the really old large trees that have been growing well before this barn was put into place, I can look at this set here and just take these gigantic trees and have them towering in the background and also filling up that space there. Um, I think with either one, I can't really go wrong. Like I can have that tower towering there and then have this little one over here and also, um, I could do that, but I kind of like these little ones. Maybe I'll stamp both. I'll stamp both off and just see which I like better. And, um, there we go. That'll solve that. Okay. So, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. This is all what happens when I am trying to make cards. And this is one thing I like about having so many tools at my disposal. Just want to bring this in a little bit. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I like having multiple sets by companies just because they do a really good job at making sure things are um things go together that things are versatile and i'm very into that so i love 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 companies that are like hey we're going to give you lots of different options with these things okay so let fix over a little bit Back that here. I'm trying to keep everything out that I'm about to use for now and future cards because I'm working on a couple things at once. Okay, this is here. And put this somewhere where it does not, where it will not be affected. These need to be Copic colored. So those are fine. This can go to the side. All right. So first, the Snow Kiss Spruce. No, this isn't Snow Kiss Spruce. This is the other, the other set, the Snowy Pine Village. Snowy Pines, what a cute name. Such a cute name. Now, you saw some of the stamps that I did purchase. I don't have the dies for these, which is a little sad. So fingers crossed my scan and cut will do wonderful things. I didn't buy, buy the dies because I pretty much blew my budget to buy these. And I'm not um, a, okay, go big or go home type person, especially when it comes to my budget. I technically dipped into my crafting budget for the next month to get these because they're on sale. And I'm sure that um, 
there will be a Black Friday sale, but who knows if these are still going to be in stock. So now I'm just running through my color charts because I need to figure out what colors I'm going to use. Okay. For some reason, I still have the magnet in my hand. Go over it one more time. All right, so I used some of these great stamp sets to stamp off these trees, and now I'm going to color them so that they will fit the scene with this barn here, and also color the snow and the icicles, and see if I want to use those on this adorable barn and then figure out my background and sentiment and background paper. I'm so stoked. <laughs> this card is like really coming together. So I'm very curious as to if my scanning cut is going to cut these trees that I stamped out and I did color them by Heart Filtrations. So fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't have the dies. <laughs> it's looking pretty detailed. Moment of truth. There's not a lot of space in between those. Oh goodness. All right, moment of truth. If I can find my tools. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you guys, I was a little concerned because of the detail in the edges with this um, stamp, I was, I was concerned. So I'm grateful that my scan and cut is just so worth the money. Now these images were so close together. They were literally stamped like right next to one another. And my scan and cut left a sliver that had all of these combined. Wow, that is, that is insane. Look at that. If this isn't testament to the skin and cut, I don't know what is. But I still do want to get the dyes. Oh, and this tree came out lovely. I didn't even color this tree and it came out so nice. I absolutely love my scan and cut. Now I still want to do, I still want to get the dies for these items just because I love the crispness with the dies. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm just going to rip these apart because pull them apart does the trick. Okay. So now I need to figure out the background for this card. I feel like I want to do it this way. I don't know why I just do. And, oh my goodness, these trees are so cute. They're so cute. Oh, I didn't color the bottom of that tree, so I need to do that. And honestly, this barn looks way better than this tree. Like, I don't even want to have the tree cover the barn, but, you know, dimension. So, that there. I just want to have, like, a little buildup of trees here but i'm also going to have the snow i think that's nice and then i'll just put this one on the inside let me zoom in
there we go i feel like when i zoom in too much the color on the camera changes so this looks like a christmas tree farm it's really cute all right let me figure out what else i'm going to do next so i colored the snow a little bit with uh just two of my copics again i'm not great at snow combos um something i'm gonna have to look into but i like the detail with this snow here so i you know i didn't think i needed to do too much i didn't want to like overwhelm the card especially since i did so much coloring with the barn and then the trees but the trees i kept pretty basic i mean i just left those to two colors for the trees and i think i mistakenly stamped on 110 pound cardstock for some reason that was in my scrap pile i'm like man this cardstock is really thick but i already stamped on it so now i'm fussing cutting it and i'm like this is so it's so difficult <laughs> jeez all right this is so much fun i can't believe i'm just like plowing away ha 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 as i cut snow at these christmas cards like i'm really enjoying myself oh my goodness this just adds so much to this it really does all right oh it would fit the length of this also because i just thought for a moment if i do do this card this way it would give me space for the background because i actually forgot um this is the size of my card and i like to do mats so i need to have some space for what's going to be in the back and this actually helps me spread out my barn a little bit and now i just need to have probably going to just do one mat because i have so much going on I just need to have some snow going. So you see here, I tried putting some snow on the tree. Mm, I'm just, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I want to do it, but how is now the question? Hmm, all right. Let me figure out what's gonna be happening back here. Yeah. So I was, you know, hemming and hawing about snow and a background and making this a super wintry scene and I decided to add snow on these trees here and I took my glue which I actually had to put inside of my oh geez I had to put inside of this little container here and I just seal it up so it doesn't get all hardened it seems to dry really quickly so I had to put it inside of this little container I just don't want glue on my hands. Come on. And this little tree, I did have to sacrifice this little tree, but it was worth it. Okay, there we go. So this is glue, and I just squirted a little on each tree. These aren't even my glue grippies. I have two pairs. One is for glue, one is not for glue. And right now I'm actually letting this glue dry. So I just put a little all over the tree and it gave me this desired uh, snow effect kind of to go with the snow slopes here and I absolutely love it so now I'm gonna work on the mat for the back of this card and see where I am so we are going to get stripey for this background here I'm just gonna move my project off to the side just so it does not so it's out of harm's way basically to make my distress inks out of the way now i don't know what it is but um i really 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 love my striped background right now and i haven't played with this I just want to keep this in frame. Um, I haven't, I played with this um, stamp only once, you know, so it's just kind of like my go-to. 
right now. And what color I want to use is a question. I might want to use Poppy Parade with this because my barn is vibrant. I need to get some food. Okay, I need to get some food. <laughs> My last card I used real red, and this card actually, what am I doing? Like I have pre-cut paper for a reason. Okay, um, hmm, thinking, thinking. All right, so I'm decided on using my real red just because the shade of red goes really well with this barn here. There's a fiber here. Get rid of that. It's always something somewhere. All right. Already placed my paper down so that it's not going to be moving around. Pulling off my area. Gonna give this a good ink up. And again, make sure I check for like little hairs and things. I love this. Love this color. It's so nice. Like I would absolutely love to go somewhere. Uh, soon on vacation that just screams holidays so I think that's why I'm just so into this right now being trapped <laughs> trapped and pretty much isolated from everyone cards are like my escape making where I want to go all right so this looks good and the snow on my trees should be dry now. Check my hands, okay. Gonna clean this off and keep it moving. So I am trying to figure out how I'm going to finish this card. And I was looking at some sentiments. I did want to try to stick to a Heartful Creation sentiments for this card since that is primarily what it is. But unfortunately, the sentiment is just so large. Both of them are like the same size. If I try to put them on the card, it would just be a bit overwhelming. And I just don't think that, I just don't want this sentiment to take up so much of the space and cover so much of the work that I've done. So for this card, I'm not going to do that. Although I do love this sentiment. And I'm just really glad that I, I have some um, Christmas sentiments in my stash for them. So I'm looking at my hero greetings because these are super small sentiments, which will be super perfect for this card. And I'm going to look at the Happy Holidays is a really nice cursive font. And it's small and kind of layered. I like that. I think that will fit perfectly right here. See, that's just what I need. Something nice and small to go in this um, space that's white, that's blending from, um, it's going from a gray to white, like gradient. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna need a square die. So I have some of my dies sitting off here to the side. Okay, my waffle flower, square die. I think this will fit this perfectly. Maybe not this one. Mm, maybe I don't want to use those. Um, what else do I have? These are lawn fawn. Mm, maybe. Everything is just a little long, but I think that'll be fine. And you know what? I can just chop the edges. 
I would actually just stamp this right onto the card, but I'm afraid I might mess up and um, I'm not about that. So, <laughs> and for some reason I'm thinking gray would be nice, but hmm, if I did stamp it directly onto the card, that would be nice. But I have snow there and I don't want to take, yeah, I don't want to take any chances. I don't want to take any chances at all. We're just going to do that in white, actually. Hmm. All right, so I stamped this out and used a little ink around the edges. Now I'm just going to place this out here. All right, so this is the finished card. I am so excited. It looks so beautiful. Again, if I say so myself, I'm so glad all of these pieces came together for this card, that I was able to get some ink blending done, that I was able to use my new set, the home on the farm set, like so incredibly cute. And you know, it didn't shout Christmas, but I was just determined to make this a Christmas card. <laughs> So absolutely love that. And what other, oh, the other set that I use with that. I looked to these sets here um, for the trees and I ended up making them Christmas trees. So absolutely love Heartfelt Creations. They have some amazing stamp sets and I absolutely love um, Hero Arts because the small stamp set is just like completely perfect. Um, it was a perfect way to finish off my card here with the sentiment. I just don't know where I placed it. I have so many stamps in this area right now. I don't know where I put anything. So I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you do something crafty that makes your heart happy. Okay? Bye.